full bottle worthy fragrances for 2023. There are a lot of fragrances that I get as samples and I'm glad I get them as samples because as soon as I smell them, I think, well, I'm glad I didn't get the full bottle because it doesn't smell that great. Then there are fragrances that you just gotta have the full bottle, you know, it's that good. So I have a small list of fragrances that I think do pretty well as full bottle fragrances. They pretty much, you just need to have the full package. And I'm gonna start with one of my new favorites. Actually, all of these are my new favorites. So this is Satin Mood, uh, Oud Satin Mood from uh, Maison Francisque Cujat. So this is a uh, made in France, French fragrance. And you can see on the inside. So the main thing here is the Oud, which is a very musky, warm wood note very rare and luxurious, and it's also mixed with some rose notes, specifically Turkish rose. And the mix between the oud and the rose is perfect. It has, it's just, it has a unique sweetness between the rose, but then the very musky, thick nature of the oud. It's just, it's probably one of the most luxurious fragrances I've ever smelled. Um, and anything from this brand in particular, like Baccarat Rouge 540 is from this brand, and uh, you can't really go wrong. They know how to make their fragrances. They're really good at what they do, and this is a very good fragrance. Uh, I would snatch this up in a heartbeat, um, but it is pretty expensive because it is a very high-end fragrance, so you know, keep that in mind. But other, other than that, that's like the only obstacle because this is delicious. Then. The other one, actually from the same brand, Aqua Media, uh, Colon Forte. So this has notes um, of sort of green notes, some water, um, bergamot, matcha tea, woody musk, that sort of thing. So you can kind of see. And I mean, it's pretty much exactly what it says. You get the green notes, you get the light musk notes. It's mostly a refreshing sort of fragrance, which I really like for hot weather. Uh, if it's summer and it, you know, you can't stand the heat and you don't want to wear something too heavy, this is a really good option because it is very, it, you know, it cuts through the heat. It, it makes the day bearable if it's too hot. And in general, again, from this this brand, it's a very high quality fragrance. Then. Uh, probably my top three fragrances is Ambre Nuit from Dior and this is meaning Amber Night this is an extremely smooth um, warm cozy sort of fragrance very it's just nice it's like a comforting sort of fragrance but also extremely luxurious somewhat similar to Oud Satin Mood uh, from before. A little bit richer though, heavier. Um, not best for the summer because it is kind of heavy, but definitely ideal for autumn and winter when it's colder, and also ideal for the evenings. Um, if I, I would, I would teleport to the Dior headquarters and steal this if I could. This is, this is like the holy grail in my opinion of fragrances. Um, but, you know. Anyway, the next one is quite the opposite. This is Le Labo Bergamot 22. And you can guess from the name, there's bergamot in it. It's gonna smell like bergamot. And it's just very pleasant. It's, uh, it's definitely on the lighter side. It's not like a huge performer, but it's, again, perfect summer fragrance. Citrus is ideal for any time when the weather's hot and you want some relief. You don't want to just be drenched in sweat, you want to smell nice. And this is probably going to get the job done. It's it, it has a very prominent bergamot note. I don't know why it's called Bergamot 22 in particular, but it is um, probably the most luxurious bergamot perfume you could get. Uh, and also one of the most kind of straightforward bergamot fragrances. Um, because there's not really much getting in the way of that solid bergamot note. And 
Le Labo as well is a very prominent fragrance brand. They're very well known, especially for their Santal uh, fragrance, which I haven't tried yet, but in, in any case, this is the bergamot scent, so. Then, another one, even though it's a men's fragrance, I quite like it. Valentina Uomo. So, this is a classic. This is um, primarily myrtle notes, bergamot, then it was a little bit of coffee and leather, um, kind of velvety. It's exactly my style, and it just, it's really nice. I like it because it's not extremely strong, it's not gonna punch you in the face, uh, but it's not weak, it's definitely not weak at all. It's nice, you know, it holds its ground, it's moderate, and j just from all those heavy notes, it's a very kind of warm, uh, like it said on the inside here, velvety, and it's just very pleasant. For men, primarily of course, uomo means man in Italian, but uh, I, you know, in my opinion, any anyone can wear any kind of fragrance, um, so, you know, have fun with it, but uh, just a nice fragrance. Again, because it's on the heavier, warmer side, probably better for colder weather or the evening, um, but if the weather's, you know, nice and mild, this is probably fine as well. Um, but other than that, those, in my opinion, are fragrances that are, are certainly deserving of the full bottle. You know, because once you run out of the sample, you're like, I gotta have more. So, having the full bottle is definitely, you won't, you won't regret it, that's the main thing. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. If you have any, uh, anything to say about them, you can always leave your opinions down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.